OpenStack better for everybody. So next up, we're going to hear from Ctrip. This is the largest travel site in China. And Eric Yi, who spent 20 years in Silicon Valley and then moved to China to head up uh, the R&D center as the GM at Ctrip, and VP of Technology is going to come up and tell us what they're doing with OpenStack. And I think you're going to be pretty excited when you hear what he has to say. Come on up, Eric. Thank you, Mark. Uh, good morning. And uh, I probably have some friends in the stage. Uh, you guys sit there, OK? And uh, today, I'm uh, three parts. One is talking about C trip a little bit. And uh, uh, the, I quickly go into what we do with the cloud technology to empower, to transform C trip call center in the beyond. Then I will talk about uh, uh, going forward and what are the challenges we're having, next steps. Uh, at last, we'll be given an uh, on-stage live demo about uh, our uh, mobile app using cloud technology, OK? All right, let's uh, get going. Uh, so this is the uh, largest online booking uh, for hotels on the, this platform, and 40% then uh, serve that many countries in the cities. The, uh, the hotel coverage, OK? So three. Uh, 350,000 hotels covered on the planet. Uh, the next one is the largest fly booking platform in China. Um, there are some numbers over there, airport served, and uh, how many tickets issued every day. Uh, next one is uh, uh, trip, uh, not only the hotel and the flights, we have a bunch of other businesses that I want to highlight a few of them here. So first one. Uh, the package is another one, group tool, uh, corporate travel. If you are in China, you know those things. Uh, uh, but, uh, 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 but we are working. So that's uh, uh, probably most people in China know. And now we're creating new businesses. Um, car, cruise, train, international expansion, uh, destination, which is a travel guide, community, so on and so forth. OK? So that's all good. And, uh, so that's, uh, I'm talking about today, where we are, OK? And i show some numbers for you uh, so that you get sense. Number one is the website we call the data centers. We have three. And the PV, new members, adding daily. So the offline, uh, C2P is pretty good about uh, call center business, uh, as many of you know. And uh, the, if you look at the call volumes every day, it's uh, uh, very impressive, OK? So we have, uh, uh, literally, we have uh, uh, 13,000 call agents, and uh, they're taking shifts. Uh, call center, we have three uh, different locations. All right, so the mobile, and uh, in last year, we're pushing mobile technology quite a bit, and uh, that's uh, uh, grow, fast, grow very fast, and I give it demo at the end. Uh, now, move forward, uh, fast forward and forward for seven years, OK? Um, so this is what we planned. Um, and let me show you some numbers, OK? Business needs to grow 10 times, because we, we can't cure it. And I don't get into details about that, how we can get 10 times. But that's what we're aiming for, OK? Active users and the traffics and the site availability and the uh, operation footprint, cost and footprint. And uh, uh, I did the sizing on that. So uh, that's, there are some numbers. And uh, we will be using clouds later, OK? So now look at those numbers. For business side, for the, I'm talking about business VPs. And uh, they are pretty excited, OK? The I'm in the technology side. And I feel e extremely challenged to meet those numbers. And uh, well, it's a challenge and also exciting and lots of things to do. Um, uh, if you look at the, uh, today, uh, the traffic I showed you last slide, it's, uh, although it's the largest uh, travel platform in China, but uh, I come from, from Silicon Valley, so it's the uh, largest auction site. So that's number compared with them, still uh, kind of a dove, right? And, uh, but uh, 
2020, and uh, those numbers will be not off, and uh, probably will move up to maybe top 20 online uh, e-commerce site by then. All right, so then I quickly transition into what the cloud can help. And I, uh, as the head of the technology, I need to look at what are the weapons I have to meet those challenges. Um, so the one thing uh, we are working on, which is uh, we, uh, I started uh, almost two years ago, and uh, see that you know, we need to get into cloud, okay? So now after we uh, look, study, and I have a team created, and uh, look into some projects, and then try a few things, and uh, we come up with something really, really unique, which uh, uh, I haven't seen anything on the planet doing something with c triple does, okay? Let's look at what we're doing. One, uh, okay, that's a quick one, and uh, uh, I don't want to talk about more. Uh, uh, that is, uh, so we are at the 2013, uh, using, uh, heavily using, heavily relying on the OpenStack. And uh, the reason we're using OpenStack is less over there. I don't need to read through this, okay? Um, probably that kind of a path uh, you, most of you guys gone through in the past to learn uh, learn here, there, and uh, eventually leads to the OpenStack. And uh, um, uh, we doing next one, and I want to point out uh, what we're doing something unique with the uh, OpenStack. So there's two colors. The red ones, uh, the, the yellow, and uh, we plan to use. The white we are using already, okay? Uh, so the, that's the one I'm going to talk about a little bit more, okay? That's something with the c trip is unique. And I, uh, uh, a few minutes ago, I was talking about 13,000 agents today and answering phone every minute, okay? And uh, the p during holidays, uh, 300,000 phone calls. You need to take care of them, all right? So uh, what's the technology behind? And uh, if you're dealing with a call, call center in the past, you probably know uh, there's uh, quite a bit of technology behind, okay? But uh, most of the call center companies, they don't heavily invest on technologies. And, uh, but uh, uh, c call center, we are still growing, and uh, investing on technology, I have some business values behind that, okay? Uh, one is the, um, so today, uh, 2013, I'm going to deploy uh, 1,000, uh, virtual desktops. Uh, by, by, uh, when I look for virtual desktop, it means that desktop is not on the, in the cubicle, not on the desk. Desktop will be disappeared on the cubicle. On the cubicle will be only has a monitor. Okay? Then the desktop is virtual, put it on the move back to the server. It's not physically move back to the server room. We're creating a VM uh, for the desktop. So the OS, uh, the browser, the, our call center applications will be sits in the VM and uh, um, uh, in, the, in, in the server rooms. So uh, we had, uh, uh, right now we are in the pilot right now, and uh, we, this year, and uh, we are very confident and move up to uh, deploy 1,000 instances. So 1,000 desktop will be disappeared. And then now next year, <coughs> continue the pass. So the, uh, by end of next year, 13,000 desktops will be gone. All right? So that's something pretty exciting. In the, uh, if you look at five years ago, technology was not very ready. Okay? You have to buy a vendor product. Some, some vendor does that. And, uh, but to be, uh, we did a comparison from cost perspective. And the vendor solution is not going to cheaper than you buy a desktop and put it on the cube. You look at and uh, so so what we come up in the cost is chop it half. Uh, vendor can do we, we can accomplish in half of the cost, and the open stack uh, play a big role on that. Okay, all right. So this is something unique. Then there's a, I want to talk about a few things. Uh, one one more thing about uh, private clouds. Uh, that uh, is uh, you guys are very familiar with, uh, and all call center is going through that kind of phase. And from dev farm, QA farm, and uh, production application farms. So that's, uh, um, I'm not going to expand a little bit more, okay? 
so here are the numbers you can see. And uh, we are very successful on the uh, QE farms. Produc production farms is uh, uh, a little bit more com involved. As you guys, uh, uh, if you dealt with this problem before, and you know uh, some challenges in production than in the QA. Um, all right, so that's what I'm talking about. And I want to hook up the uh, mobile phone. And uh, uh, here are some numbers you can see. Um, let me show you uh, some exciting things we have. All right, wow, that's come up really good. So this is the uh, application. Uh, I do a few uh, demos, OK? So this is Shanghai to Hong Kong flights. So it's come up like an instant, right, in all the price. And uh, the tickets we're sourcing from, you, 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 talk, about, you talk about like a, uh, five, 600 airlines uh, provide those tickets. And, uh, and we uh, connect with the airlines, connect with the GDS, and so on and so forth. All right, so that's on the back, but uh, I'm on the demo on the uh, app side. So uh, we have the train. Um, I just randomly choose it, and the instant come, come back, right? And so now you see that, Eric, you didn't do something. Uh, that's uh, normal stuff. Why you, it's uh, so cool. This, this is a hotel. Um, and so I, I hit in something cool real quick, OK? Um, so this uh, W to D. Uh, this is boys. Uh, let's try one more. W to D. How? This is we party last night here. Uh, let's look. So this hotel, and he has tick. He has all the rooms. So probably one of the lounge we stay last night, right? All right. So. Now, um, this is still traditional APP uh, application. And uh, so there's one button here called Yin uh, Chaoxing, OK, voice, voice search right here, OK? Now, here I want to hit something real, OK? Uh, so I come forward. Um, all right, Shanghai, Beijing, Huo Chou Piao. I just said it's a uh, Shanghai to Beijing train tickets. All right, come up, right? All the cool stuff. And nice, right? <laughs> that, thank you. All right, something really challenging. One time people say that, give me a ticket to the Tibet. So I see something like a Shanghai to Shanghai to Xizhang Ho Chou Piao. We'll see. What's that? Lhasa, Shanghai, Xizhang, Ta Yu Jing already recognize that it's right there. Very impressive. Right? All right. So um, let me do um, hotels. OK. Xiangang, Jichang, Fujing, Jiu Dian. I just say that give me Hong Kong. Uh, Hotels nearby Hong Kong hotel, Hong Kong Airport, so right there. Okay, those. Uh, all right. So now some hotel is very expensive, three so, three thousand, more than three thousand Hong Kong dollars. Um, I want to do something narrow down. Okay, let me do that. Give. Uh, oh, sorry, I, I was uh, trying to speak English, and this <laughs> this application only recognizes Chinese. Okay, so let me try again. Shanghai, Jichang, Fujian, Jiudian, two thousand yen. Woo, two thousand yen, right? Three thousand is gone. Okay. How about this? And uh, I do even further. Okay. Shanghai, Jichang, Fujian, Jiudian, two hundred yen. I say two hundred, two hundred US dollars, two hundred Hong Kong dollars. There's none. <laughs> All right. So there's no hotel here. It's two hundred dollars. You don't search, okay? My presentation is done. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. So one more thing. Um, uh, uh, the oops. Uh, go back. 
cannot go back. <laughs> All right, that's okay. And I just want to uh, uh, thank you guys and uh, see you 11. We have a technical session on how we, how we implement uh, virtual desktop. I just highlight here. And uh, uh, there's some private cloud technology called the bare metal, so on and so forth. Okay, see you then. Thank you. That was great. Okay. That was great. So a as he mentioned, uh, they will be having a, a longer session around 11.15 in this room. We're going to go into a lot more detail on the technology. Mm -hmm. So uh, just to wrap up,